In Ridgecrest, their lives have been rocked, but their spirits haven't been shattered. As a city, they've emerged resilient. PTSD is a real thing. There's a new meaning to the word aftershock. And we're all suffering from it right now. While there were no deaths and no major damage to buildings in Ridgecrest, every little rumble or shake, she runs straight to the door. We're barely getting any sleep. She's been sleeping with her sandals on. She doesn't want to go to the restroom alone. She doesn't want to leave my sight. What do you do when the sleeping and an earthquake happens and your family's lying around you? And what are you supposed to do? It's the damage that lies beneath the surface. We're hearing things from other people that it's like, oh, well, it's not that bad. You guys don't have a lot of physical, but do you understand that the emotional, that it just, it strains you? People strained, but not shattered. In a strange way, this seismic situation has brought them closer as a community. Rich Crest rocks. Thank you. At the epicenter of this community, Mayor Peggy Breeden. You are amazing. While she's been taking charge of her city. Do you need me? I'll be there shortly. We know I got through chemotherapy not too long ago, and I'm doing immune chemotherapy right now. And everybody keeps saying, Peggy, go home, go home, go home. She's unrattled. This is my community. I came here to die, and you know what? I found a whole new life. As a decades-long ovarian and breast cancer patient, she's leaned on her fellow survivors. Talking to people who've gone through the same experience gives you an opportunity to say, maybe it isn't the end of my life. Maybe this is just the bend I'm going to turn to see where I'm going next. And it's just like these earthquakes. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Mayor Breeden embodies what it means to be Ridgecrest resilient. I'm also asking all of you to go check on your neighbors. Let's try to uh, start recovering now. Amid the stress, these leaders found a way to spark laughter. Easy, ladies. <laughs> At the town hall meeting, they urged everyone to take advantage of the emotional support resources available. If somebody is okay and not struggling, maybe they were out of town. Um, they're going to show up to help the others that are. Marley's Mutts brought in therapy dogs. Nonprofits offered free pet vaccinations. Good. We have volunteers here from Las Vegas and from down south by San Diego. Little Caesars gave out free pizza. Hey, you guys are awesome back there. Other organizations donated bottled water. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. The Red Cross set up counseling and support groups as well as an evacuation center that served more as a place to bond than take refuge. Next door, at a park called Friendship Plaza, the community gathered for a picnic and movie night. It's going to take a while to heal, and what you're seeing going on behind me are people telling their stories to their neighbors and sharing it and getting it out. Thank you so much. An attempt to restore some semblance of normalcy. Strangers supporting each other in this shaky situation. We are a community that takes care of each other. Now it's time to rebuild, repair, recover, and together, stand Ridgecrest strong. I'm Karen Hua, 17 News.